Yo, what's up? It's Justin Stone. You're rocking with It's AGTV. Wow. Yeah, I put in work. Y'all want a dream? I got the ethic that works. No one can get it like me. I be in the booth, losing some sleep. I got the ethic that works. No one can get it like me. I put in work. Y'all want a dream? I got the ethic that works. No one can get it like me. I be in the booth, losing some sleep. I got the ethic that works. No one can get it like me. Yeah. You feel like I'm on? Wait, what? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, you, no. you, you might not see it, but I'm, no, I'm, dude. You know, I'm very self-conscious and like I, I don't like like my own stuff, so I'm like very critical of myself. Like people, are like oh, this is dope. I'm like, dude, this is this sucks. This is I hate it. But like, I'm not on yet at all. Like, I'm very blessed to like be able to do what I love and get paid for it and have it be my full-time thing. Um, so yeah, I, I, I see where people say like, oh, you're on, you're living your dream, but I know I'm nowhere close to like on you know what i mean i am the one yeah numbers keep rising don't stay on my back why they play defense i'm bound to attack didn't go soft and i didn't go trap started to go in my name is justin stone i'm from columbus ohio um it's actually weird because i don't really listen to a lot of like rap um i grew up on yellow card all american rejects like angels and airwaves have you heard of them it's like it's, it's more like alternative like rock it's funny, I didn't really get like into, like, I didn't even like know about like hip hop. Cause like we were talking about this in the bus the other day. Cause they, they were like, oh yeah, so you like some, you like Tupac, you like Biggie. I'm like, yo, I actually like never have listened to them. So, yeah, really? yeah, for real, for real. So I grew up on like alternative rock, like pop punk, that kind of stuff. And then I, like seventh grade is when I like kind of found hip hop. It was like a alternative hip hop. It was like Mike Studd, like Sammy Adams, High Res. And, uh, yeah, so. I would say my influences now probably definitely either those alternative bands or like G Easy Logic because they started out on like this this blogs that I've been put on like Spaggy Tracks promoting sounds. Uh, so yeah, I would say that they're my biggest influences right now. Huh? Have they reached out? They have not reached out. No. Uh, they gotta get. Have dude, it's you? funny when like people are always like they're like yo collab with Logic or G Easy. I'm like it doesn't work that way, man. It's uh they're pretty big. They're they'll come around sooner or later though. Uh, a couple years, you know, it's, it's just, it's a, it's a process, it's a grind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how I grew up, so I was born in Columbus, Ohio, about the age of 13. My dad was a pastor, so uh, we switched, uh, he switched churches down, he moved to like Indiana. So I moved down there for my middle school and high school uh, age, and then uh, graduated high school down there. And... Uh, I decided I, I missed Ohio. I loved Ohio. I was born, born and raised there pretty much half my life. So I decided, yo, the industry is a little bit better in Columbus, Ohio for music compared to St. Leon, Indiana. So I, I made the move up there right when I graduated. And then, uh, yeah, so I've been living in Ohio for about two years again. Uh, I skipped on college, just kind of went with music, just, just chased it. So, yeah, like I said, I picked up probably around 16, 17, dropped my first song when I was 17. Uh, but seriously, probably about like a little bit over a year. So like right when I graduated high school, I was like, shoot, let's go for it. Let's just do it uh, full out. So I would say that's like when my last song on SoundCloud is. It was like about a year and a couple months ago. So I've been going at it uh, for a little bit. It's funny because like I, I don't like smoke or drink. So like I... Uh, a lot of people, I feel like they rely on like being high or whatever to to write. So I, I've never even like smoked or drank. So I, I just try to like write about life situations. Um, so whatever I'm feeling that day, I could be like pissed off, could be upset, like or like if I had beef with someone, like someone talking talking like bad about my music, that just like fuels my fire. And usually, like I find that I write better late at night because like my thoughts are way more creative late at night. So I kind of like find ways around like not having to get high to like be creative you know what i mean um so yeah just life uh, anything i write is something that's happened to me or it's from perspective of someone else something that's happened in their life i don't like making stuff up. so like in one of my songs if it didn't happen i'm not gonna write about it that's just something that I, i've always stuck with and it's how it's always gonna be nah nah it's too late yeah see me on the top so they try to get close nah 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 now they all fake yeah you can buy my record that's cool you can tell people we were tight in high school Crazy I was nothing now, look I'm that dude Crazy I was nothing now, look I'm that dude Yeah, suck. 
it sucked. Like, once you're a pastor's kid, people, like, expect you to be this certain way. And, uh, like, if you're not that certain way, there's a lot of judgment there. So, uh, it was definitely rough growing up like that. There's, like, cool things about it because I'm glad I was grew up in the church. Glad I had good morals and stuff. But, like, if you weren't, like, a certain way, then, like, people, not necessarily, this isn't, like, every church like that, but, like, people judge you really hard for that and that was just kind of tough for me I felt like there's a lot of pressure on me with that um which I talk I, I talk about that a lot in some of my music some of the stuff that's not out yet um but yeah I'm really glad I like open up about like there's other kids out there that are like preachers kids like me and they hate it too and they'll be able to relate to my music with that so yeah it was cool but it was hard Yeah, uh, I started to open up a lot more in the last couple months of the stuff that's not out yet. Uh, I'm working on a, next, on a project right now. It's called I've Been Here Before. Um, I, I'm going to drop that literally out of nowhere. Like, I don't, I'm not going to tell anyone like the release date or anything. So I, I kind of just want to surprise like the fans with that. Because I just dropped the project back in March. So like they're going to be like, whoa. Like, I, I, I always write a lot, but I like giving back to the fans because the way it is right now, like people get bored if you don't keep releasing stuff so i come up with a lot of content and i know like i'm not gonna i, I i'm not the kind of person that likes to save stuff because then i'm like oh this stuff sucks right. so like i just right when i get it done i literally put it out on some of the stuff like one of my favorite songs is called no love um i get i'm very blunt on that song and it's my mom's least favorite song but also her favorite song because i'm the most honest on that um but yeah i, I feel like it's hard because then if people judge your music or like say bad things about music it's more per personal because it's like you're you're opening up you're pouring yourself out into that so obviously it's going to be a lot more difficult when people talk down about that um it's at the same time as a risk no? yeah yeah it's but then it's also very rewarding because who knows that like, someone can relate to that out there and then there you go you you just help someone through that so I would say, yeah, I've been, it, I've been opening up a lot. It's been harder, but this new stuff that's about to come out, it's a lot more open, too. So I'm really excited to like, put that out there, kind of nervous, kind of like excited. Right. It's like a mixture. Yeah.